of force or torque for class 10th. So first of all, we should know what is moment of force. Force everybody knows, but moment of force actually depends on two factors. The force and the distance from the axis of rotation. Let, let's understand this phenomena. Suppose that we have this hammer. So suppose that we just want to take out a nail from the wooden plank. So what to do? We have to put a force at this end and move the hammer like this. Then what would happen? The moment of force is created by force applied here and the distance from the axis of rotation. This is the point of rotation. So the product of force applied here and this distance is known as moment of force. Let's, let's take another example of this door. Suppose that we just want to open the door. <coughs> we have two points, point A and point B. These are hinges. Hinges means from where the door is connected to the boundary. Suppose that we just have to close or open the door from point B. Then we have to apply larger force because the distance from the axis of rotation is less. But if we want to open or close the door from the point A, then we have to apply less force. Because the distance from the applied force and the axis of rotation is large. So what is the definition of moment of force which is important? Let's see. The turning effect of a force is called moment or torque. Sometimes it is known as moment of force or only moment or it is known as torque. So the definition is important. Now the second topic in this we just want to calculate the moment of force or torque. So how to calculate the moment of force? Here it is the formula of moment of force. So moment of force is equal to force into perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the pivoted. This is force and this is pivoted point. This is the distance. The moment of force is F into D. So what is this? F into D. Clear? Now take another example. Suppose that we have a rod and this is the point of pivotion. At this point we just want to apply a force and this is the distance from the axis of rotation. So the moment of force is F into D. Clear? Now on what factors the moment of force depend? The moment of force depend on three factors. Number one, the moment of force is bigger if the force is bigger. So in short you may learn the moment of force is directly proportional to the force applied. Second, the moment of force is bigger if it acts further from the pivot. Or you can say the moment of force is directly proportional to the distance of force from the axis of rotation. The third, the moment of force is greatest if it acts at 90 degrees. Suppose that we are not applying the force at 90 degrees, then the moment of force will not be maximum. So these are the three factors, but these two First two factors are important. You have to learn this factor. One or two marks question may be asked from this. Now the sign convention. Actually the moment of force can be considered in two ways. Clockwise moment and anti-clockwise moment. So what is actually the clockwise or anti-clockwise? You must have seen the direction of the rotation of watch. It is called clockwise and opposite to it that is called anti-clockwise. So, if moment cause clock rotation means if you are applying a force on a rod and the rod is moving clockwise then this moment is called negative moment. So, clockwise moment is known as negative moment and anti-clockwise moment means you are applying the force and the rod is moving clockwise then it is called positive moment. So, one marks question have been asked in ICSC board paper that is uh, uh, negative moment and positive moment. 
सो क्लॉक वाइज मूवमेंट इज नेगेटिव मूवमेंट एंड एंटी क्लॉक वाइज मूवमेंट इज कॉल्ड पॉजिटिव मूवमेंट लेट्स सी द यूनिट ऑफ मूवमेंट ऑफ फोर्स तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड नो द मूवमेंट ऑफ फोर्स डिपेंड्स ऑन टू फैक्टर्स फोर्स एंड डिस्टेंस वट इज द यूनिट ऑफ फोर्स दैट इज न्यूटन एस आई यूनिट इज न्यूटन सीरियस यूनिट दैट इज टाइम वट इज एस आई यूनिट ऑफ डिस्टेंस दैट इज मीटर और सीरियस यूनिट दैट इज सेंटीमीटर सो मूवमेंट ऑफ फोर्स इज फॉर्म बाय द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एफ इन एंड डी सो द यूनिट एस आई यूनिट ऑफ मूवमेंट ऑफ फोर्स इज न्यूटन मीटर और सीरियस यूनिट दैट इज डाइन सेंटीमीटर सो लर्न दीज टू यूनिट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल for calculating moment of force this is a rod suppose that we are applying a force at this point and we have two category of rotation first we want to put the pivotal point at this end then the moment of force will be force into perpendicular distance that is one so the moment of force will be equal to 3 into 1 that is 3 suppose that the point of pivotion is this then the moment of force will be force into perpendicular distance means 3 into 3 9 just take the solution of this question for the axis of rotation taken at right end right end means what pivotion point is this then moment of force l is equal to f into d So L is equal to three into one. So L is equal to three newton meter. Keep reminding, unit is very important to write. Now the second part. If the pivotion is left end, means this is the pivotion point. Then the moment of force again L is equal to F into D. So L is equal to three into three. So L is equal to nine newton meter. Keep reminding that the unit is very important. And second thing, formula. Whenever you are getting any question in your paper, so write the formula. Topic is the principle of moment. So what is actually the principle of moment? When we put a rod on a fulcrum, if the rod is at equilibrium, then in that condition, the sum of clockwise moment must be equal to sum of anti-clockwise moment. This is important. the question may be asked like this write down the principle of moment so what is the principle of moment sum of clockwise moment is equal to sum of anti clockwise moment so on this principle there is very nice example let's see in this question it is written a uniform bar 9 ft long and weighing 5 lb is supported by a fulcrum Three feet from the left end. This is the left end from this three feet. This is the fulcrum. F three is the position of fulcrum. If twelve lb load is hanged from the left end, twelve lb means from the left end a load of twelve lb is hanged. So what you have to calculate a. What downward pull at the right end is necessary to hold the bar in equilibrium? So what is the minimum force required at f2 to make this rod at equilibrium and second part b with what force does the fulcrum push up against the bar means this bar having three types of forces f1 w and f2 downward so what should be the force at f3 the force at f3 must be equal to the sum of f1 w and f2 so first you have to calculate f2 then you have to calculate f3 so the most important thing the weight of the rod keep in mind the weight of any body acts at the midpoint so the length of the rod is 9 ft so the weight of the rod will act at midpoint that is 4.5 from this end and 4.5 from this end now see the solution of this question from the principle of moment sum of clockwise moment is equal to sum of anti clockwise moment so sum of clockwise moment means whatever is the moment is acting towards clockwise that you have to keep one side and 
the moment which are acting to the anti clockwise that is to be kept to left side so the moment which are acting to the clockwise let's see what are those moment see the clockwise moment are f2 into this distance this distance is 4.5 plus this this is 1.5 so the total distance f2 and this will be 4.5 plus 1.5 that is 6 so the clockwise moment that is f2 into 6 then second clockwise moment is created by the weight of the rod that is 5 5 into this distance this distance is 1.5 so the clockwise moment is equal to f2 into 6 plus 5 into 1.5 and anti-clockwise moment will be f1 into 3 f1 is 12 means 12 into 3 now see the solution so the clockwise moment is f2 into 6 plus 5 into 1.5 is equal to f1 into 3 so f2 you do not know so f2 into 6 5 into 1.5 that is equal to 7.5 value of f1 is 12 12 into 3 that is 36 so F2 into 6 is equal to 36 minus 7.5 that is equal to 28.5. 6 will go to the denominator then F2 is equal to 28.5 divided by 6. So the value of F2 that is 4.75 LB means the minimum force required at F2 that is 4.75 LB. Now the second part what is the minimum force at the fulcrum that is F3. So F3 must be equal to the sum of F1, F2 and W. So F3 is equal to F1 is 12, F2 which we have calculated 4.75 and W the weight of the rod that is 5. So F3 is equal to 12.75 LB. So this is the complete solution of that question. Now take some question for your homework. Write this question by pausing this video. First question is this. Calculate the moment of moment for each of the following. This is the rod, this is the point of pi motion. This is force and this is the length of the rod. So the moment 4 into 3 means 12 newton meter. For this question, this is the point of pi motion. This is force. That is 3 into 2. That is 6 newton meter. Now, the most important thing, you have to write which type of moment they have. It is move, means it is creating a moment towards clockwise. So it is clockwise moment. You have to write 12 newton meter clockwise moment and it is anti-clockwise so you have to write 6 newton meter anti-clockwise some other questions are this number 2 a mechanic uses a 15 centimeter long spanner wrench spanner is wrench so this is D convert into meter and applies a force of 300 newton that is F F into D that is moment of force at the end of the spanner to undo a nut. What is the moment of applies? So F into D. Third question. The radius of the wheel of fortune is 1.2 meter. So this is D. And the operator applies a force of 45 meter. This is F. To get it spinning. What torque has he supplied? So F into D. Now the fourth. 32 kg chai sit on a seesaw. Seesaw you must have seen. So at the one end, 32 kg of chai is sitting at the one end. If she is 2.2 meter, this is distance, this is force. This is actually weight. Weight is converted into force. So force, you have to calculate by multiplying the value of G. G is equal to 10. So 10 into 32. From the pilot, what is the moment that her weight exerts? So first convert into force, then multiplied by this, you will get moment of force. Fifth question. A force of 40 newton is acting at the end of the beam. So this is force. If the distance of this force from the pivot is 2 newton, this is B. What is the moment by the force? So F into B. Now finish. You have to complete these five questions. This is your homework.